This is the October 11th, 2013 edition of Inside Rensselaer, about the people, programs, and events at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. On October 3rd, Rensselaer unveiled a new petascale supercomputing system, the Advanced Multiprocessing Optimized System, or AMOS. With the ability to perform more than one quadrillion calculations per second, AMOS is the most powerful university-based supercomputer in New York State and the Northeast, and among the most powerful in the world. The first scoop of soil analyzed by the analytical suite in the belly of NASA's Curiosity rover reveals that fine materials on the surface of the planet contain several percent water by weight. The results were published recently in Science as one article in a five-page special section on the Curiosity mission. Dean of Science Lori Leshin is the study's lead author. President Barack Obama has appointed President Shirley Ann Jackson as a member of the Advanced Manufacturing Partnership Steering Committee 2.0. Comprised of leaders from industry, academia, and labor, the committee is charged with developing and enacting strategies to help revitalize the national manufacturing sector, create high-quality manufacturing jobs, and enhance America's global competitiveness. Engineering researchers had developed a new drape made from graphene, the thinnest material known to science, which can enhance the water-resistant properties of materials with rough surfaces. These nanodrapes are less than a nanometer thick, chemically inert, and provide a layer of protection without changing the properties of the underlying material. A new book by celebrated pianist Mary Simone, Dean of the School of Humanities, Arts, and Social Sciences, serves as a guide for musicians and computer scientists interested in learning to use algorithms to create music. In her recent book, Seeds, Science, and Struggle, The Global Politics of Transgenic Crops, Professor Abby Kinchy examines social movements surrounding genetically engineered seeds. And Arpana Gupta, associate professor and co-director of the Center for Financial Studies at the Lally School, has written a new book titled Risk Management and Simulation. A new look at the early solar system introduces an alternative to a long-taught but largely discredited theory that seeks to explain how biomolecules were once able to form inside of asteroids. In place of the outdated theory, researchers at Rensselaer propose a new theory based on a richer, more accurate image of magnetic fields and solar winds in the early solar system and a mechanism known as multi-fluid magnetohydrodynamics to explain the ancient heating of the asteroid belt. Last month, residents of the city of Troy and members of the Rensselaer campus carved out time to participate in the pre-ramble bike-skate-walk event to celebrate the inaugural launch of the Collar City Ramble. The Collar City Ramble is an all-access urban trail linking neighborhoods and schools with historic, architectural, natural, and recreational sites in the city of Troy. The inaugural 10-mile-long event featured a tour and parade from the Farmer's Market in downtown Troy to the Albany Bike Path Connection. The route was also modified for individuals interested in doing parts of it on foot, using skates, or a wheelchair. Troy Night Out is a monthly arts and cultural event that takes place on the last Friday of every month in downtown Troy. Last month, the event featured a host of Rensselaer student groups who showcased their talents in areas of juggling, acrobatics, robotics, acting, music, photography, and singing. And as the leaves turn color and the cool autumn weather settles in, the campus will be buzzing with activity as thousands of Rensselaer families are expected to visit October 18th through 20th to celebrate Family Weekend. Parents, family members, alumni, and friends will have an opportunity to get a glimpse of life at Rensselaer through a variety of cultural offerings and performances, academic classroom programs, tours, dinners, film screenings, and athletic events. And that's it for this issue. For more on these stories and others, go to www.rpi.edu slash about slash inside.